Welcome guys, welcome to the Blueprints to Manifesting channel. My name is Steve Scott or Mr. Manifest. I am here to help you guys succeed. Today's video is going to talk about never giving up. Um, as a matter of fact, check out my t-shirt. It says never give up. What does that mean to you? Never give up. Um, what it means to me is even though we all understand or are trying to understand how to manifest something, we really don't want to give up our belief before it manifests. So even though I manifest all the time, there's some really huge manifests that I've been visualizing for over a year. One of them is over two years. And I still haven't received it yet, but I'm still, I still know it's coming. It's on its way. Um, if you look at any successful person, um, it doesn't even have to be somebody that follows law of attraction or even understands law of attraction. You look at um, maybe a celebrity, somebody famous, uh, maybe a really successful or wealthy person. Um, you look at any of them, even athletes. What do they talk about? They always talk about how they kept trying over and over and over again. And they knew in their heart that it would happen. Um, you see, guys, so many of us give up way too early. Um, what we have to do is we have to keep visualizing it over and over and over again until we believe it. And then put, let the universe do its job and just trust that it's coming. And I know that's hard. Sometimes it's hard for me as well. Because if I'm focused on it and I'm visualizing it over and over and over again, sometimes I don't want to let it go because I'm so, I almost become obsessed with thinking about it. Um, but what we all have to learn to do is never give up on our dreams. This could be starting a business, losing weight. Um, you know, maybe getting that dream job or promotion, that house that you really want, a new car, going on an exotic vacation, anything like that. Maybe even a new relationship. What we have to do is learn to never give up. Um, I'm going to give you a really good example. So last year, I was working at a different college. I don't want to give the name of the college. And um, I was in charge of this new online high school program that they were starting where basically they reached out to people in the community, um, students that dropped out of high school, and we were going to try to help them get their high school diploma. So basically, our college had a contract with this online school that offered online high school degrees. And then the incentive for the college was they would pay for it, and um, you know we would help them succeed with their high school diploma, and then hopefully a, a large percentage of them would end up going to college. So I was in charge of it, believe it or not. Yes, I was in charge. I was considered the facilitator or the coordinator. They didn't want to call me like a high school teacher because te technically I wasn't. I was there in the computer lab to keep them motivated, to keep them inspired. Now I have to tell you, this was probably one of the most rewarding jobs I ever had in my life. Um, I personally helped... I would say about 28 people get their high school degree, their high school diploma. It was an online. Um, now, me as the facilitator, what did I do? I took attendance. Um, I helped edit their papers. Now, I'm not even the greatest writer, believe it or not, when it comes to editing. But, you know, I helped them. I helped them succeed. I helped almost everyone succeed. Unfortunately, a couple of them didn't continue with it, but almost all of them when I was supervising it, ended up earning their online high school, to, uh, high school diploma. Now, the reason why I'm talking about it is when a lot of these students came to me, came to my classroom for the first week during orientation, um, a lot of them were very down. You know, here are these people anywhere from like 18 to even like 40s and 50s, believe it or not. Um, they came in, they were down, you know, they had all these stories on why they dropped out of high school and why it didn't work out. And I had this orientation I would do the first day and I would say to them, listen, I'm not here to judge anybody. You're here for a reason and I'm going to help you succeed. I'm going to help you earn your high school diploma. Um, so some of them, they got it done in weeks. Some, some of them took a couple months. But the whole idea with the, with the program 
is to help them earn their high school diploma. I mean, can you imagine that? Can you imagine um, helping students who didn't succeed or for whatever reason? You know, everybody had their own reasons. Um, you know, some of them, some of their stories are really upsetting too. I mean, I read a lot of papers and I, you know, it made me almost cry. Some of them were homeless at certain times. You know, they might have had bad relationships. Maybe they had pregnancy. I don't know. But I told them the first day, I'm not here to judge anybody. I am here to help you. And the first couple of days, it was hard to keep them motivated to get them out of this, I don't want to say depression, but more like the vibration that they can't do it. See, we all, all of us, go through this. Our energy and our, our vibration goes up and down, our belief. But the key to success is to not give up. So even if you don't have somebody like me coaching you, um, you have the ability to do whatever you want. You really do. Um, so I personally helped, like I said, there was about 20, anywhere from 25 to 30 people graduate with their high school online diploma. And I would say about 10 or 11 of them ended up going to our college. So it took off. Um, and some of the, some of the ideas or some of the things I used to do just to kind of, you know, help them succeed and keep coming was one, I would you know, talk about myself a lot, my family, what I believe in, my vision. Yes, I'm one of those people that will believe in you before you might even see it. And I'm probably a little crazy. I was probably a little crazy. Sometimes I would play music videos before we would start or at the end. Um, I bought food. We bought food a couple times just to kind of give them like a break. Um, but really, the whole idea in today's video is never to give up. Hey, how many of you guys like KFC? So I read this somewhere online that the founder of KFC received 1,009 no's before one yes when he went out to try to license his KFC fried chicken recipe. Now, I gotta tell you, I love KFC. Probably too much sometimes. <laughs> You know, I love the fried chicken. I love the mashed potatoes. Oh my God, the mac and cheese don't even get me started. But he never gave up. And you know what? He started KFC, I think in his like 60, mid 60s or so with his first social security check. And when he died, like 20 some years later, he was a multi-billionaire. Now, can you imagine that? Can you imagine you just retired? You're in your 60s and you have this this really good recipe for fried chicken. Now, most people would say, screw it, I'm done. I'm not doing anything for the rest of my life. This is it. He did not. He went out and got 1,009 no's before one yes. And now look, now we all have KFC. I love it. So, what I'm trying to enforce to you today is never to give up on your dreams, on what you want to accomplish, what you want to do in your life. If it's relationships, if it's that new business, if it's losing weight, it's uh, exercising, um, having a better connection with people, manifesting more, anything. You can manifest, you can do anything you want. You just have to remember never to give up. Be your best. You can do it. All right, this is Steve Scott. Make sure you subscribe to the Blueprints to Manifesting channel so you can get all of the videos. Um, usually they're Law of Attraction focused more. And make sure you like this video. Thank you. Have a good day. See you on the top.